Book Connected Pages. A book in Moodle is a series of connected pages. You can think of it as a mini website or as a manual, for instance, this book on a school Moodle, which is a departmental policy document. A book is useful because you can include not only text, but links, images, sound, and video, such as a YouTube video here. You can see that books have a table of contents showing the different sections or chapters. To add a book to our course, we first enable Edit Mode top right and either click anywhere on the course page between activities or click Add an activity or resource at the bottom of a section. This brings up Moodle's Activity Chooser. Book is a resource because learners just read it, they don't interact with it. Click to go straight to the setup screen or click the I to get more information and then click the Add button bottom right. We give our book a name and if needed a description and if we want to display this description on the course page we check the box. Note that if you check this box the description will display at the top of each of the sections or chapters in your book. In appearance we can decide how we want the chapters, which some prefer to think of as pages, of our book to be displayed, for example numbered. In activity completion, if we want to track that students have accessed the book, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've read it? Or do we want it automatically marked complete when they view the book? To alert course participants that a book has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. When we click Save and Display, we can start adding content to our book. And once we've made one chapter, you can see that its name appears over in the table of contents. We can add another one by clicking the plus icon. And then when we've saved a second one, you see there's an arrow allowing us to change the order of the chapters. The configure icon lets us do some edits. The bin will delete our chapter and the I will hide it from students. So we can continue with our book by clicking the plus icon again. Finally, if we click on a book and click the More link, we see that it's possible to print books off, something your students might be interested to know.